The Los Angeles Auto Show is underway this weekend, with consumers flocking to see the latest things on wheels. But what's really getting their attention is the new look of those high-tech dashboards, as we hear from Bill Whitaker. Distracted drivers pay attention. There's no longer a need to look down at that phone. It's loading all the nearby movie theaters. A new generation of dashboard technology is being unveiled at this week's Los Angeles Auto Show. Press the voice button and then say set as destination. From Cadillac, whose console looks like an iPad, to Toyota. Your new car can help make dinner reservations, buy movie tickets, and get you to where you're going. Destination, street address. Technology analyst Brian Cooley says it's still distracting, but... A little safer, using voice command, bigger displays, and locking things out when the car's in motion. And it's self-correcting. This new Lexus has infrared sensors that can tell if you're looking away or just plain tired. It will sound a little alarm to just, just to, hey, wake up. <laughs> the system will stop if it senses that you're not going to apply the brakes. The back seat of this Bentley, complete with internet hookup and massaging seats, looks more like an executive suite than a car, perfect for people with chauffeurs. But we may be close to a future in which none of us will be driving. By the middle of this decade, uh, we'll have partially autonomous vehicles, and by the end of the decade, we'll have fully autonomous vehicles. Including a new model by Volkswagen, which drops you at the curb and with a push of a button, parks itself in the parking lot. Google has used driverless vehicles to help map over 140,000 miles of road and in June of this year succeeded in getting legislation passed in Nevada to make autonomous cars legal. The technology is ready, but are we? Who's ready to be out there and see a car drive by without anybody sitting behind the wheel? What regulator is out there ready to pull the road laws apart and rethink them? Lawmakers may have no choice because look around. It's clear automakers are rethinking how we drive. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Los Angeles.